Hi, I'm Matt, and on today's Matt's Life DIY, I'm going to make a wonderful fall harvest soup. The weather is changing, it's getting cooler outside, and it's time to eat a hearty, delicious, hot soup for your fall day. To get started on this recipe, we're going to need to chop up these vegetables. I've already washed them. I'm going to end up peeling them, chopping them, and having them in uh, the proper proportions and ready to go into my pot on the stove. So I'll be back. I'm using carrots in this recipe. Now, it actually calls for acorn squash, but I'm not a fan of that. So I am a fan of substituting something you do like for something that you don't like. So if you want to put acorn squash in your recipe, feel free to go ahead. I'm going to use carrots and I thought I would just get these baby carrots because they're already peeled and I'm going to cut them up just a little bit um, into smaller bite-sized chunks and it'll be easier to cook as well as easier to eat. So the recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of chopped onion. I'm thinking about probably about a small to medium sized onion will do. This is a, definitely a medium sized onion. I may use all of it, I may use a little less. Uh, I'll put it in a measuring cup and find out. When I chop my onions, I like to go horizontally, almost all the way to the end, then cut some vertical slots in and just go to town and that will dice the onion up pretty well. The recipe also calls for one cup of chopped red potatoes. Leave the skins on, make sure you wash them thoroughly. Leave the skins on, chop them into uh, uh, little cubes and uh, not too small and leave the skin on. The skin's actually very delicious. I like red potato skins. So. And so depending on the size of your red potato, it could be between two or three red potatoes. This is about a cup. I really like them. I'm going to put in an extra one just because I feel like being extra today. In addition, we're going to need two and one quarter cup of sweet potatoes. You need to peel these sweet potatoes before you chop them up and chop them up probably in about the same size of chunks that you did your, your red potato. Maybe a little bit larger would be fine. Uh, so peel them first and then chop them up into those, um, into those size of chunks and they'll be ready to go in the pot. Now that we have our vegetables all chopped up and ready to go into the pot, I'm gonna push this aside and get my seasonings all ready. So I'm just gonna put them into one little dish and that way they're, it's just easier just to drop it all in at one time. Two teaspoons of beef, uh, bouillon granules. And so there's one and then there's two. And I'm going to add just a pinch more just to help richen the flavor out. A half a teaspoon of chili powder. Right? And I found out that my pepper jar is empty. Eeks. So I'm just going to uh, use some ground black pepper. I love this flavor anyway. So that's great. An eighth of a teaspoon of allspice and also an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. If you know anything about these two spices, you know that they can be pretty powerful and overwhelming. So you don't want to overdo it. Be very careful with these. Not like it's going to be an explosion or something, but it just might overpower your meal. Okay. And so now I have all my spices in here ready to go and I, I can just dump it into the pot in one big swoop. All right, now we're at the stove and we're getting ready to add our ingredients to the pot for this fall harvest soup. It's so delicious and it's so easy to make and it comes together really, really quickly. So the first thing you want to do is add some oil, just a little bit of oil to your heating pan. Toss in our onions. We're gonna let these cook until they're just a little bit translucent. Toss in your garlic. This is another thing you do not want to burn. Don't brown the garlic, don't burn it. Just until it's fragrant. Add my 
one pound of ground beef. And I'm going to break that up, cook it until it's brown, and then you'll drain it off. And then you can start adding your other, your other ingredients like the water and your vegetables and all that. After you've drained your um, fat off of the dish, off of the meat, go ahead and now it's time to add in your water. So we're gonna put in three and a half cups of water. I have to do this with multiple, multiple cups because I don't have a larger cup. That's kind of sad, right? I need to get a larger measuring cup. Here we are. <laughs> Here's the other half. So it's three and a half cups of water. Now, what you're gonna do from here is uh, bring this up to a simmer. It's just going to come to a simmer. You're gonna add all of the other ingredients. You just dump them all in at one time. All of your... You're going to dump in all of your other ingredients all at one time. All of your seasonings, all your vegetables. You let that come to a boil and then bring it down to a slow simmer and uh, for about 15, 20 minutes until the vegetables have started to soften up. And then you add your diced tomatoes to it and you let that come to temperature and warm up and then your, your meal is done. So I'm going to start with all of my spices and I'm just going to add them all at one time and give that a stir. I just want to make sure that that's well incorporated. I'm going to add all my sweet potato. Now that is a lot of sweet potato, but remember these potatoes tend to break down and they end up creating more of a thickener for your, your, uh, your dish. Then my red potatoes with the skins on and my carrots, which are the substitution for the squash. I did not want squash. I wanted carrots, so I put carrots. <laughs> and then you stir this up. Now, if you find that it's like, oh my goodness, this is way, way, way too much ingredients and not enough liquid, you can always add some more liquid and perhaps put a little additional beef bouillon um, uh, granules in to help season it up more. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this, this is, this is up about a medium high. I'm gonna let it come to a boil, then bring it down, let it simmer 15, 20, 20, 25 minutes until those, all those potatoes and the carrots start softening up and then I'll add my tomatoes. All right, the soup has been cooking for 25 minutes now and I checked the, I checked the, the tenderness of the potatoes and the, and the carrots and that type of thing and everything seems to be softening up very, very well. So if, <laughs> If you're anything like me, I do not like, I do not enjoy cooking on a glass electric stove. I just don't. I wish I had gas, but um, I don't. So it's it's just more difficult to control uh, temperatures and that type of thing. So anyway, I, I have what I'm, I'm working with what I have and I am blessed. I'm lucky to have what I have. So now I'm ready to add in my um, 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. Just put that into the pot. And to be honest with you, I don't know why I couldn't, I was, I, the instructions don't have you adding the tomatoes at the beginning earlier anyway, but um, maybe it's because it'll break down too much or something like that. I don't know if that has anything to do with the acidity or whatever, but regardless, I've been making this recipe for goodness since 1999 or 2000 and it is honestly one of my favorite soups to have. So you see how nice and thick this is. It looks amazing and the smell it just I don't know with that allspice and chili powder and that, uh, those, those spices I put in. It really 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 just smells like the season. I'm going to love this. Anyway, I'm gonna let that uh, cook and uh, the the, have the tomatoes come to temperature with the rest of the um, rest of the dish, and then it'll be ready to serve up a delicious, delicious, hearty winter or fall uh, uh, meal that's going to fill your tummy. It'll fill your heart, 
It's so delicious. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. And if you also like, please like and subscribe. This will help my channel out a great deal. And check out some of the other savory dishes that I have as well. It's time now for me to give this a taste. So let's see what this is like. Oh my goodness. It's so simple. And it comes together so quickly, yet it's so delicious. It's full of, I mean, it's full of great things for you with the sweet potatoes and the carrots that I put in. If you put squash, that's great too. The uh, beef and the beef stock, good source of protein. It is so delicious. You have to try this. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Very good stuff.